Hi everyone, this is Matthew Alo. In this video, I will take you through a project that will make you more proficient in Microsoft Excel. This video will also help you pass Microsoft Excel 2019 and 365 exams. So let's go through this project one after the other. Project 1, Task 1. On the Sydney Sales Chart Worksheet, apply Style 5 to the chart. On the Sibling Sales Chart Worksheet, apply Style 5 to the chart. On the Sibling Sales Chart Worksheet, apply Style 5 to the chart. So to do this, you go to the Sibling Sales Chart Worksheet. Okay, you select the Sibling Sales Chart Worksheet. Then you select the chart. And on the ribbon, you see Chart Design Context Filter. So you select it. And the chart styles group, you select a more button here, a more arrow, then you select style file. Okay, that is done. Task one mark completed. Now task two. Switch the rows and column source data of the chart on the seedling sales chart worksheet. So the legend is displayed as horizontal axis labels. Switch the rows and column source data of the chart on the sibling sales chart worksheet so the legend is displayed as horizontal axis labels. Okay, to do this on the sibling sales chart worksheet, so you select the sibling sales chart worksheet. So switch the rows and columns. So to switch the rows and columns, just select the charts, then on the Ribbon you select chart design contextual tab, the chart design contextual tab, then the data group you select switch rows and column. Okay, that is done. Now task two mark completed. Now task three. Insert page one of question mark page numbering in the header of the Quarter one sales worksheet when finished. Return to normal view. Insert page one of question mark page numbering in the elder of the Q1 sales worksheet when finished. Return to normal view. Okay, to do this on the Q1 sales worksheet, you select the quick. Q1 sales worksheet, then to insert the page numbering in the header. So you go to the insert tab, insert tab, then in the text group, select header and footer. Okay, so insert page one of Crystal Mark page numbering. Okay, so to do this, you go to the page number, go to the header, go to the header, you have page one of question mark, okay, so you click the header drop down, then you see page one of question mark, okay, so that is done. So when finished, return to normal view turn to normal view so you just click on the view tab and change to normal in the workbook views change this to normal okay so that is done task five task, task three mark completed task three mark completed now task four copy the data from cell range a4 through e9 on the q1 sales worksheet and transpose it to the cell range beginning at A4 on the Sibling Sales Worksheet. Copy the data from cell range A4 through E9 on the Q1 Sales Worksheet and transpose it to the cell range beginning cell range beginning at A4 on the Sibling Sales Worksheet. Okay, to do this, so you select the Q1 Sales Worksheet, then to copy the data from cell range A4 through E9. In the name box, just type A4 
four through e nine e nine okay so you press the enter key okay the range is selected so you to copy the data from cell range a4 through e9 okay so to do this you go to the home tab and in the clipboard group you click on copy okay so now to transpose the data to the cell range beginning at a4 on the seedling sales worksheet so you click on the seedling sales worksheet seedling sales worksheet so beginning at a4 so you click a4 a4 then you go to the home tab on the clipboard group you see uh the paste paste command there so you click the drop down arrow under it then locate transpose okay transpose 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 is right here the number seven option the seventh option so you click on transpose okay that is done so task four mark completed now task five task five so remove the table formatting from the small tree seals worksheet but keep the cell formatted remove the table formatting from the small tree sales worksheet but keep the cell formatted so remove the table table formatting from the small tree sales worksheet but keep the format so small tree sales worksheet you click on that to remove the table formatting okay so you just click anywhere within the table then you go to the um table design on the ribbon table design contextual tab okay then in the tools group in the tools group you click on convert to range so convert this table into a normal range of cells okay when you do that the table design will disappear the table will just appear as normal okay as normal range of cells okay that is done you see it's normal the table is now looking like a normal range of cells okay keep the format so tax five mark completed now now grade projects Correct. Project two, task one. On the total cookie sales worksheet in cell B3, use structured references in a formula to calculate the sum of the chocolate mint chip cookies sold. On the total cookie sales worksheet in cell B3, use the structure, use structured references in a formula to calculate the sum of the chocolate mint chip cookies sold okay to do this so you select the total cookies sold total cookies sales worksheet so in survey 3 is best survey 3 okay so to calculate the sum just type equals to sum Okay, so you go to the sales by club worksheet, click on it, then just over, press over your mouse on the chocolate mint chip. Okay, to review the black arrow, you can see the black arrow showing here. The black arrow, just over your mouse and you don't click yet. So once the black arrow shows up, then you click to select okay the content of the cell. Then you press the enter key. Okay, the sum is showing here the total. Some of the chocolate mint chip cookies sold. Okay. So task one mark completed. Now task two. Create the name range blazing bikes from all of the blue cells in the total cookies sold column. On the sales by club worksheet, create the named range blazing bikes from all of the blue cells in the total cookie sold 
column on the sales by club worksheet okay so now you to do this to do this to do this you go to the sales by club worksheet then you go to the total cookie sold column select this okay so you press down the control key and just move down gently so the blue cell okay that blue cell and you move down gently to the remaining blue cell select okay that is done then you go to the formulas tab in the defined names group see name manager okay now you click new and here you enter the name the name blazing 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 and underscore bikes blazing underscore bikes you click ok ok that's showing here and here you click, you click close ok so that is done so task 2 mark complete now task 3 join cell I1 to the Maya cells A1 through H1 of the sales by club worksheet do not change the alignment of the content join cell i1 to the make cells a1 through h1 of the sales by club worksheet do not change the alignment of the content okay to do this you just go to the sales by club worksheet okay so you select scroll up here select from a1 through h1 and down to i1 okay so a1 to i1 now now go to home tab in the alignment group select the click on the drop down arrow next to merge and center in the element group okay then you click you select merge across good okay that's three mark completed now task four apply the pattern color light gray background to darker 10 percent with the pattern style thin diagonal cross arch to cell range a3 through A8 on the total cookie sales worksheet. Apply the pattern color light gray, black and background to darker 10% with the pattern style thin diagonal cross arch to cell range A3 through A8 on the total cookie sales worksheet. Okay, to do this, you select the total cookie sales worksheet, then you select cell range a3 through a8 okay now you go to the home tab select the home tab click on the home tab in the fonts group select the dialog box launcher okay that's formal cells dialog box launcher so that is done now you select fill tab click on the fill tab then pattern color so you select the drop down arrow and select pattern color that's light gray light gray background 2 darker 10% light gray darker 2 background 2 light gray background 2 darker 10% light gray darker background 2 light gray background 2 darker 10% okay you click on this now the pattern style the pattern style you select select 
thin diagonal cross at thin diagonal cross at thin diagonal cross arch okay thin diagonal cross arch now select that and click ok so task 4 mark completed now task 5 on the sales by club worksheets configure the table to display only records of the blazing bikes club members by filtering by the cell color blue note complete this task last on the sales by club worksheet configure the table to display only records of the blazing bikes club members by filtering by the cell color blue note complete this task last okay so to do this on the sales by club worksheet click on sales by club worksheet now you go to the column heading first name or any of the other headings so just click the filter icon here then filter by color then you select select blue color blue okay that is done is done so tax five mark completed and great project correct project three task one change the margins of the summary worksheet to 0 0.75 inch on the top bottom left right and a 0 0.5 inch head and footer center the worksheet horizontally within the margins change the margins of the worksheet of the summary worksheet to 0 0.75 inch on the top bottom left right and a 0 0.5 inch header and footer center the worksheet horizontally within the margin so to do this you select the summary worksheet and click on the page layout tab then in the page setup group you see margins so now you select custom margins so here you change the top to 0.75 0.75 okay the bottom as well to 0 0.75 then the right as well to 0 0.75 then left and right 0 0.75 0 point okay 75 okay then header and footer 0 0.5 0 0.5 then center on page center the worksheet horizontal within the margins so that's horizontally select horizontally okay so that is done you click okay task one mark completed now task two display all of the formulas on the summary worksheet display all of the formulas on the wo summary worksheet so to do this you go to the summary worksheet so to display all of the formula you click on the formulas tab in the formula formula auditing group in the formula auditing group the formula auditing group you select show formulas okay that will display all the formulas you have in that worksheet so task two mark completed now task three save the summary worksheet into the gmetrix folder as a pdf file with the name summary save the summary worksheet into the gmetrix templates folder as a pdf file within the with the name summary so to do this you will go to the file tab then save as and browse the type the name of the document this summary So you save it in the 
he met his MS folder. Summary as PDF. Save as PDF. Okay, that is done. Task 3. Mark completed now. Task 4. On the rental revenue worksheet, clear the formatting in cell range A3 through A7. On the rental revenue worksheet, clear the formatting in the cell range in cell range A3 through A7. So you go to the rental revenue worksheet and select A3 through A7. Okay. Then you can clear the formatting by going to the home tab. In the ethnic group, you have clear. You can select clear the drop down. All right. Select clear formats. Clear format. Clear format. Okay, that is done. Now, tax four mark complete and tax five. So, the location sales worksheet alphabetically from A to Z, first by location, then by product, and then by season. Spring, summer, fall. So, the location sales worksheet alphabetically, alphabetically, alphabetically from A to Z, first by location, then by product, and then by season. Spring, summer, Fall. Okay, to do this, you go to the you go to the location sales worksheet. Select location sales worksheet. Now you can get the sort and filter command on the data tab in the sort and filter group. You have sort. Or you can go to the home tab. In the editing group, you have sort and filter. Okay, so data tab in the sort and filter group, you have sort. Okay, now we sort by first by location. So here is less levels and from A to Z. Okay, so you add levels and you sort by. Products and sell values and A to Z as well and add level again and sort by season. Now it's a season. And sell value, sell values, and you change from A to Z to the custom list. So now you type the name spring, so by season, spring, summer, fall. Type a spring, comma, summer, comma, fall. Okay, then click add. Now click OK. Now spring, summer, fall. And by season, spring, summer, Spring, summer, fall. You click OK. Now that is done. So, tax 5. Mark completed. Okay. Project 4, task 1. Adjust column G to a width of 14. Adjust column G to a width of 14. So, to do this, you select column G, okay, the column heading, then just right click and select column width and change this to 14. Click OK. Okay, that is done. Then task 1, mark complete. Then task 2, modify the scaling of the sales commissions worksheet so it fits, it, it fits on a single page when printed. Modify this. Scaling of the sales commissions worksheet so it fits on a single page when printed. So to do this, go to the file tab, you click on the file tab, then you select print in the backstage view. Now you select scaling. Okay, no scaling, you select this and and select fit sheets on one page. Okay. That is done. Fit, fit on one page. I fit on one page when printed. So return to 
the document now task 2 mark completed then task 3 move the cell containing the data projected sales in the sales commission's worksheet remove the cell containing the data projected sales in the sales commission's worksheet okay this sales commission worksheet so locate the cell containing projected sales okay and it is you click on it then you right click and select delete and select ok that is done task 3 mark completed now task 4 in the sales commission worksheet use an automatic formatting method to apply orange gradient fill letter bars letter bars to the total sales the total sales column that changes the cell formatting whenever the cell values change in the sales commission worksheet use an automatic formatting method to apply or ingredient field data bars to the total sales column that changes the cell formatting whenever the cell values change okay on the sales commission commission's worksheet so to do this you you select the total sales column so you can scroll up total sales column okay you select the content here on that total sales so you go to the home tab in the styles group select the drop down row next to conditional formatting then data bars so grid and fee orange grid and field data bars okay orange data bars grid and fee okay so you select this okay that is done task 4 mark completed now task 5 in the sales commission worksheet insert the formula in cell g4 that references the data in the total sales column and the commission rate in cell j3 to calculate the values in the commission column copy the uh, formula into all the cells in the commission column in the sales commission worksheet insert the formula in cell g4 that references the data references the data in the total sales column and the commission rate in cell j3 to calculate the values in the commission column copy the formula into all the cells in the commission in the commission column okay so you click on the commission column so uh, enter the formula inside the formula just click just type equals to enter equals to references the data that's the total sales column data in the total sales column okay select so uh, g4 type equal to then total sales column data then multiply by the j3 so j3 as commission rate okay so to make this absolute you add the, uh, the dollar sign before three as a row number and you press the enter key okay so these are the values okay now task 5 mark completed then grade project correct project 5 task 1 remove all hidden properties and personal information from the workbook remove all hidden properties and personal information from the workbook okay to do this you go to the file tab select the file tab then select the info and scroll down and check for issues inspect workbook check for issues then inspect document inspect document okay so here you click on inspect so remove all hidden properties and personal information from the workbook so remove all select document properties and personal information so select remove all and click on close then return to the document now task one mark complete task two in the green production worksheet apply the title style to cell a2 in the green production worksheet apply the title style to cell a2 okay so to do this in the green production worksheet so you go to 
A cell A2, A2, okay? Select cell A2, then on the home tab, click on the home tab in the styles group, select cell styles. So you apply the tight, apply tight, okay? Select tight. Click on title, okay, tax two. So that's apply tax two, mark complete. Now task three. In the grain production worksheet, modify the table style to remove the shading that appears on every other row. In the grain production worksheet, modify the table style to remove the shading that appears on every other row. Okay, so now you just click anywhere within the table, any cell within the table. So you click on the table design contextual tab. So now to remove the shading that appear on every other row. So that is banded row. So just this like this and you see the effect on the table. So go on check this. Okay, and see that has been clear. So now task three mark completed. Now task four. Add a function to cell G4 in the width or rise column that we display the word width, the word width, if the amount of width does F4. F4 is greater than the amount of rise E4. Else display the word rise. Copy the formula to the remaining cells in the column. Add a function to cell G4 in the width or rise column that we display the word width if the amount of width F4 is greater than the amount of rise E4. Else, display the word rise. Copy the formula to the remaining cells in the column. Okay, to do this in cell G4. Cell G4, so we select the cell G4. Okay, so in the width or rise column that we display, so you enter a formula to so enter that function. The function just click equals to if function. So I will click this and I will display the word width if the amount of width. So if f4, f4 amount width that's f4 if f4 is greater than e4 e4 that's amount of rise put a comma then display the word width the word width so double quote double quote Double quotes. Type width. Make sure you type it correctly. And double quotes. And comma. If the amount of width F4 is greater than the amount of rise E4. Else, the word rise. Okay. So double quote. Then type rise. And double quotes again you close the bracket and press enter okay that is done now tax five so when you look at this amount of width greater than the amount of rise as width amount of width greater than the amount of rise width amount of rise greater than the amount of width as rise so the amount of rise is greater than the amount of width is this rise amount of Width is greater than the amount of rise displays width. Amount of rise is greater than the amount of width it displays rise. Okay, that's correct. So task four mark completed. Now task five. In cell B13, insert a formula using the name range Bali to calculate the total sum, the total Bali produced. 
in cell B13 inside the formula using the name range barley to calculate the total barley produced. Okay, so now in cell B13, so just click B13, just type equal to uh, sum. Sum, just type value. Wait, put value. Okay. Total value produced. Press enter. Okay. So that is it. So tax five mark completed. Close this. Now great project correct project 6 task 1 on the full inventory worksheet change the style to dark red table style medium 16 on the full inventory worksheet change the style to dark red table style medium 16 so you Select the food inventory worksheet. You can click anywhere, any cell in the worksheet in the table. Click any cell in the table. Just click any cell anywhere in the table. Then you will see table design, contextual tab. Yeah, then it's table styles group. You select the, the drop down arrow, the more arrows. Then you select dark red table style dark red table style medium 16 dark red dark red table style medium 16 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 okay so that is done that's applied so task one mark completed now task two on the Food inventory worksheet enter a function in cell G2 that counts the number of food items. On the food inventory worksheet, enter a function in cell G2 that counts the number of food items. Okay, so cell G2, select cell G2, okay, cell G2, then you are going to use counter. So count count the number of cells in the array that are not empty. So count number of cells that are not empty. So use counter while count just count the number of cells that contain numeric value, contain numbers. So count count the number of cells in a range that is not empty. So it can either be numeric value or text. Okay. So number of cells in a ring is not empty. Number of cells that are not empty. Number of cells that are not empty. So count use counter here. So on the food inventory worksheet, enter a function in cell G2 that count number of food items. Okay, so number of food items. So here you select food items. You select this down. Okay. Close bracket and press end. Okay. Task fifty six. Now task two mark completed. And task three. On the revenue worksheet, enter a formula in cell J three that uses a function to calculate the average revenue from the January column. On the revenue worksheet, enter a formula in cell J3 that uses a function to calculate the average revenue from the January column. So you select the revenue worksheet. So enter a formula in cell A J3. J3, so you select J3 so that that calculate the average 
have a new from the January call. So select the J3 as done. So equals to average. Cost average. So select the values in the January column. Okay. Press enter. Okay, that's done. Task three, mark complete. Now task four. On the food inventory worksheet, insert a new row before row ten, which contains the content lettuce. On the food inventory worksheet, insert a new row before row ten, which contains the content lettuce. So to do this, to select the food inventory worksheet. Then to insert new row before row 10, you select row 10. Okay. So then right click and select insert. Okay. So a new row is inserted for row 10. Okay. That is done. Task 4, mark complete. Now task 5. On the revenue worksheet, insert, sorry, in cell I7. Insert a function that leads that lists the unique locations in cell range A3 through through A37. On the revenue worksheet in in cell I7. On the revenue worksheet in cell I7, insert a function that lists that lists the unique locations in cell range A3 through A37. On the revenue worksheet in cell I7, inside a function that lists the unique locations in cell range in cell range A3 through A37. So you select the revenue worksheet, then in cell I7, you select I7, I7, I7. Okay, I7. You can just type in the uh, name box and press enter. So I7 is still showing a I7. Okay, so insert a function that lists the unique location. So that's that equal to unique, unique, okay, right there. So A3, that's given A3 colon, A3 colon A, that is 7. Okay, close, then end, okay. As it's done, you can see unique locations. Okay. So, task 5, mark completed and grade project. Correct. Project 7, task 1. On the Restriction Revenues Worksheet, create a 2D stacked area chart that shows the restriction trend. From January to December for football, baseball, and basketball. Position the chart to the right of the table and change the color to monochromatic palette 13 orange gradient gradient light to dark. Okay, on the restriction revenues worksheet, create a 2D tax area chart that shows the restriction trend from January to December for football, baseball, and basketball. Position the chart to the right of the table and change the color to monochromatic palette 13 orange gradient light to dark. Okay, to do this, you click on the restriction revenues, revenues worksheet, restriction revenues worksheet, then to create a 2D stack area chart that shows restriction trend from January to December for football, baseball, basketball. Okay, you just select from okay, football, baseball, basketball. Okay, from January. Now you select from this point as month heading down 
to 14 okay now to create two this star column you go to the insert tab and the chart group see insert line or area chart uh, you scroll down to stacked area okay stacked area stacked area to the stacked area okay as it's done position the chart to the right of the table so drag and lead to the right of the table okay now and change the color to monochromatic palette 13 orange gradient light black now you go to as on the chart design contextual tab in the chart styles group select change colors so monochromatic monochromatic palette 13 monochromatic palette 13 okay that's it okay monochromatic palette 13 okay that is done So tax one mark complete. Now task two. Add the chart title new sport to the pie chart depicting soccer, tennis, and volleyball on the registration revenues work sheet. Add the chart title new sport to the pie chart depicting soccer, tennis, and volleyball on the Registration Revenues Worksheet. Okay, so Registration Revenues Worksheet. Okay, so the pie chart. So you just go down and select the pie chart. Now you select the chart title box and type new spot. New spot. New new spots new spots it's actually showing yeah so just click outside the area it shows now mark completed task two mark completed so task three use a feature in chart tools to move the charts to move the pie chart from the restriction of the news worksheet and place it as an object in the chart worksheet Use a feature in chart tools to move the pie chart from the restriction revenues worksheet and place it as an object in the chart worksheet. So to do this, you select the chart pie chart. So on the chart design contextual tab, you select it and in the location group, select move chart. An object in the drop the arrow chart or sheet. So click OK. So that is done. So task three mark completed. Now task four. On the chart worksheet, add an alt text titled title established established spots to the pie chart containing football, baseball, and volleyball data. On the chart worksheet, add an alt text title established sports to the pie chart containing football, baseball, and, vol and basketball. So just right click on the chart and select uh, 
right click on the chart and select view all text okay view all text so here in a box you type establish establish established established spots established spots okay so that is done task 4 mark complete now task 5 delete the comment on the chart worksheet delete the comment on the chart worksheet delete the comment on the chart worksheet okay I close this okay so this is well. So delete the comment. So you delete comment. Just select the chart on the chart worksheet. Okay. Go to view tab and in the comment group, click show all comment. Okay. This is the comment. So click in the box select it and select delete okay now it's done tax 5 mark completed and great project correct i believe you have learned a lot from the video so to keep getting this kind of video ensure you click on the subscribe button and drop your comment Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.
I believe you have learned a lot from the video. So to keep getting this kind of video, ensure you click on the subscribe button and drop your comment. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.